hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are saving a design that was made in Cricut onto our computer so first off as you can see your design this is a print and cut design it will need to be size to 6.75 by 9.25 as that is what Cricut allowed so just go ahead and put in your width and height in the box above so you can resize your image that is the first step so i created this design in cricut design space and i am just going to show you how you can take whatever design you created and save it onto your computer without having to do a screenshot usually a screenshot works for some people but honestly it well, for me, I think the quality is not the same. So after you resize, you click on make it. And just wait for your page to load. So now on this page, you want to click continue. Then you're going to click send to printer. So send to printer. I'm going to turn bleed off and then you need to turn your system dialog on. So you cannot forget this step. This step is important. Turn your use system dialog on. Now where you see it says PDF, you're going to click save as PDF. And when you save this image, it will save exactly the way it looks right now. And then you click and you just save it as whatever name you want to save it under and then where it says where that's the folder you want to save it under I'm just saving it under my downloads and then you click the save button so now that file is on your computer but remember it's in a PDF file format so that is how you save it on your computer so now I will show you a few extra steps that I do in order to turn this to a PNG and how I remove the box from around my image. <clears throat> so that's my PDF file. That's what it looks like when you open it in PDF. And this. Okay, so now we're going to go out of that and click out of all my mess here open a new page and I am going to go to convertio.co so basically what I'm doing is taking my PDF file and change it into a PNG file or you can change it into a JPEG file so convertio is where you can convert basically almost any files into a PNG so now I choose files choose my PDF file and then I will click on the box it says welcome baby sign and I will go ahead and do it to a PNG and click convert it did take a while to convert not too long and then sometimes automatically download to your computer or you just go ahead and click the download button so it's 99 percent just a few more seconds so it says download you just go ahead and click that so you can save it onto your computer Okay, and then afterwards we will go on my computer and we will open that PNG file. There it says "Welcome, baby PNG." However, that is still a it still have the black line on it. So basically, what I do, I click on that and then I send it to my phone. That's because I don't know how to crop on my computer. So this is a PNG. That one below it is the PDF. So I just airdrop this to my phone by pressing that little share button right there 
And then when it comes to my phone, let me slow down, airdrop that to my phone. So basically when the image comes to my phone, all I do is use my crop feature and I crop the black line from around it. And then I take my phone and I send it right back to my computer. So now I'm sending it to my phone. All these little features take a little few seconds. And now this is the part I just go on my phone because I received the image and I will crop out the black line. If you know how to crop out an image on your computer, like crop an image on your computer, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can just take this image into whatever program you use and crop it. So now I'll click out of that and I will go in my folder again. And there you go, it, it came back to me as a JPEG because I sent it to my phone and then I sent it back to my computer. So it come back to me as a JPEG, which doesn't really matter because I still have the white background and I don't have the black line. So it's up to you if you want to go ahead and convert that again to a PNG or you just use it as it is. So that is the way you save a... Uh, image you make in Cricut Design Space onto your computer and as you can see like I said you have the option to go ahead go back to Convertio and convert it to a PNG again or you can just use it as a JPEG and then you can take this image into whatever program you're using and you can make it into a larger size so I'll just go ahead and convert it to a PNG. <coughs> so hopefully this was not confusing, but the main part is how to save the image onto your computer. This is just extra steps in order to convert that image, that PDF image, because it will save as a PDF. This is just extra step how you can convert it to a JPEG or to a PNG. And if you want to remove the black lines, you can go ahead and crop that out. If you don't and you just want to leave it as is, that is okay too. So this is my final image on my computer. And like I said, I do need this a bigger size. So in order to get this a bigger size, you just put it in Inkscape, Silhouette, Photoshop, whatever design program you use, and you can resize it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any question, go ahead and leave it in the comment. As you can see, I am throwing this to Inkscape. And I will resize this image in Inkscape. And I'll keep it going so you can see exactly how I resize the image in Inkscape. Once again, you can stop at saving the image to your computer if you don't need all these extra steps or if you know how to do all these extra steps. And if not, then I hope you kept watching and I hope this video was helpful.